Hey, what's going on guys? Archer Remark here, and I'm back with another video for you. And today is my 400th video. And as I promised in the previous vid, uh, I was going to do a Q&A for you, which I am going to do. I'm going to start that in just a few moments, and a bunch of you guys uh, left messages uh, with questions here, comments on that video. I'll just show you that. I got my, I'm sitting up here in the room where my laptop is, and so I'm just going to have this on, and people can just sort of read the, the, the questions from there. And so, uh, yeah, and I just want to, before I get into the questions, just want to thank anyone that's ever watched any of my videos. Again, I've, I thank you guys a lot, uh, I think, in, in, the, in my videos. Uh, anyone that's ever, you know, liked and commented, I love the feedback, and it's, it's always great to, uh, to see. I always appreciate it. everything you guys have, you know, you know, you guys are why I keep doing the videos, or in part, I love doing them, but the support I get from you guys makes me want to keep doing them even more. Uh, so, so that's, um, so that's that, and we're going to get into the vids. So, let's see, I'm going to scroll, let's see, first, first question is from Mad Woba. First, he says, "Congrats! You're one of the biggest. You have one of the biggest Star Wars collections I've ever seen. Uh, do you think you will ever stop collecting Star Wars? Uh, no, I, I can't see myself wanting to stop. Uh, it's something that it's just grown over the years. And you know, as long as Star Wars is still around and Star Wars items are still being made, and I don't see that stopping anytime soon. You know, we got new movies coming out and new animated series and." You know, there's constantly new stuff being made, so there's constantly going to be stuff to collect. So, so no, I don't, I don't think I would ever stop collecting. I don't see my, I don't see my interest going away anytime soon. Uh, so, uh, then, then we have Darth C E J seventy eight uh, says, "What is my favorite Star Wars alien species?" Uh, Definitely the the Tuscan Raider or the Sand People. It's just something about that the look and the sound they make. I always love uh, when they attack Luke and they make that like like uh, uh, like roaring sound. I don't know what what that's supposed to. Be. Just so uh, I just always like that. Uh, that's definitely my favorite alien species. I just I even I did a review on a, a Tuscan Raider figure once, and I did my little impersonation of it once. And, I thought it was good, but anyway, so that's it. So that's uh, answer to that one. Uh, then we got Rabbit Hammer says, "Congrats on everything and all the vids. I always look forward to them. Thank you very much." Uh, do you have your collection spread around the place or have it in one room? Uh, that's the first question. It's definitely spread out all over the place. I wish, I almost wish that it was the collection was smaller so that I can contain it in one room. But there's so much stuff all over, and it's not just Star Wars. There's other things that I collect. So there, I have a shed. There's a bunch of stuff. There's some stuff in my basement. There's a bunch of stuff in my room. So it's it's all over the place. Uh, so it's not in one place. I wish it was. I actually wish it were smaller, uh, which maybe sounds weird. I don't know. I actually wish it were smaller so I can contain it in one room. Uh, and also, he asked one other little thing. He says, also any pets. Uh, he's a huge. He says, "I like to know I'm a huge animal person, and live for pets." So he want. Uh, no, I don't have any pets. I had goldfish as a kid, which you know die after a week or so, and they don't. They just don't last. Um, I've always wanted a dog. I I've been really on like kind of a uh, like a dog fever lately. I like. I really want to get a dog. Uh, where I live. Uh, I'm not allowed to have pets, so so it's just not possible right now. But I, you know, I would one day, hopefully, we'll see. I would love to get a, a dog one day. Uh, just never had one. You know, my parents didn't allow us to have animals in the house, and they didn't, we just my brother and I we just weren't able to have pets as a kid. So so right now, no. Uh, okay. Uh, next, Darth Phoenix six one nine. Congrats, Mark. What are you looking forward to in regards to action figures for the rest of the year? Okay, there's a lot. First, first you got NECA, which uh, 
There's the Lone Ranger figure from the newer movie, which I would like to get. Uh, I still want to get a hold of at least one of the Xenomorph from the new Aliens series. Uh, it'd, be, it'd be cool to get maybe two or three, but I want to get at least one. Just haven't gotten around to that yet. Uh, also, there's this RoboCop figure that had this feature of like a spring-loaded uh, holster. Like I think you pressed a button and something, the leg popped open, the thing, the thing comes out with the, with the gun. And I want to get, I'd like to get my hands on that. Uh, I'm sure there's some other figures that are coming out in the future that I'm not aware of that uh, uh, would be cool. Uh, you have Mattel, which is finally doing figures based on the 1960s Batman TV show. And there's a Batman and Robin 2-pack I'd like to get a hold of. And that's coming out, I think, September? Uh, also in September, there's a uh, big fan of The Walking Dead and The Walking Dead figures. And like many people, they kind of missed out on the Daryl figure. And now it's going for like ridiculous prices on eBay and secondary markets. But there's a two-pack coming out in September of Daryl and Merle. Which I already have a Merle figure, so I don't know what I would do with the other one. Maybe trade it or sell it or something. Uh, but I want to try and get that pack so I can finally get the Daryl. Uh, and then we go to Star Wars, and there's a new Ewok pack with, like, the Ewok um, catapult, uh, which is supposed to be another Kmart exclusive, which and I, I love my Ewoks, uh, so I definitely want to get that. And then we have the Black Series, which should be hitting stores soon, I think another week or so. Uh, definitely want to get the Luke the most. And I just saw a review uh, that, that Fly Guy did. He did all four of them. Uh, and he did a review of the R2. The R2 is the one I wanted, I think, the least. But I think I might want to get that one just because it'll look really cool standing next to the Luke. Uh, then you have the three and three quarter. Uh, and there's just certain figures there. I'm not planning on getting all of them. Some are repacks. Uh, definitely, again, there's a ceremonial Luke. And when the Mario Jade comes out and a couple other Jedi figures. and uh, So that's, that's about it it that I could think of. Again, there may be other things that I just don't have. Maybe older figures I didn't get a chance to get yet. But that's for the rest of the year. So NECA and a little bit of Mattel and definitely some Star Wars Black Series. Uh, that's the stuff I'm looking forward to. So uh, thank you, Dark Phoenix. Um, Steve Starwalker Carden says, Hey, Ark is collecting an, invest in, an investment pastime, or do you see yourself ever being satisfied? How much is enough or is enough and never ever enough I don't um, I don't think of it as an investment I have given away things over over a course of time uh, I've sold stuff I've done trades uh, I've been trying to downsize a little bit and I have to do it even more because it's just way too much stuff and it's gotten out of control uh, but I don't see it as an investment I don't worry about how much I'm getting back for the items I'm just downsizing or trying to downsize little by little. Uh, I just see it, it's it's a pastime. It's a, it's a, it's something uh, that I'm interested in and it's like, um, it's just something that I really enjoy doing. Is enough enough? I think, you know, collections are never really done. They're just, there's always something to collect. There's always sometimes there's little sub collections that we do. And I think uh, a collection is never really going to be done. There's always something that you look for, or still looking for, and whatnot. And, uh, is enough for enough? No, it's not. I don't know. Anyway, okay. Let's see. This guy, Bobcat, says, uh, You mentioned in a collection that, you ha that I have a sh shed or garage type thing. Would you ever make a video showing all this in one room? If you have, I'm sorry. Uh, yes. Uh, a while back, I did a Star Wars collection video, and there were several videos because there's so much stuff. And I, like I said, I do have a shed and a basement with other stuff. There's so many other collections. I have superhero, tons of superhero items and wrestling items and uh, G.I. Joes and all kinds of things. And maybe eventually I will do uh, videos on some of those other lines, but who knows. Uh, but yes, I have, if you want to look back, Bobcat, on... Some older videos is, I think there's like seven or eight parts of pretty much every Star Wars item I could think of in those videos. 
I know there's some things that I've missed. Uh, and this is also, do you, do you ever think of buying all the time gets a bit much? Um, sometimes, sometimes it feels overwhelming uh, and it's certainly expensive over time. I try not to think about that too much because if I think about it, I'll just like lose my mind about like how much I've spent over the years. Uh, yeah, and he also asked, you know, is it easy for the dollar to add up? Yes. Uh, very, very quickly, especially with certain items. And the last comment with some questions comes from Laugh It Up Fuzzball. Uh, let's see. Um, again, there's other things here. Question: People. Uh, here, here it is. He goes. Um, my question: Are people born collectors, or do they become collectors? Um, I don't think they're born collectors. It's like, I think you sort of become collector. You, you have things that you're really interested in, and over time, maybe nostalgia sits in, or you see other people collecting, and you decide to collect. Uh, so I think it's something that kind of happens over time, and you'd be like, hmm, I want to start collecting this thing. And you, I don't think you, you know, you don't come out like, I'm going to collect from the beginning, you know. Uh, obviously, we have toys when we're kids, and we, I don't know if you call that collecting toys it's really just like amassing toys because you're you're playing with them uh so maybe you can consider that i don't know but i i don't think you're born a collector i think it sort of comes over time uh part for me was a bit of an influence from my uncle because he was very much into science fiction uh so that helped even further my interest in science fiction and he collected things he didn't collect action figures or star wars there were other things he collected and that maybe a little bit of the collecting bug got to me so so that's part of it too. I uh, hope that answers that question. And what's the most positive thing to come out of being part of the collecting community? And at the end it says, top vid, cheers, fuzz. Cheers to you, my friend. Uh, most positive thing, definitely without a doubt, is the, the people that I've met uh, through YouTube, and in some cases have become friends on Facebook as well, and have conversed, uh, some more than others. Uh, and again, there are, there are various people. It would be great to meet one day in person. But you just meet some of the most friendliest people, even through messages. Or sometimes you do trades, and people will put little uh, notes in, in the boxes that you do trades with. And, um, and you see the personality come out. Uh, even if you're not talking with them physically, you could see it uh, the way you converse with them uh, through messages, like it says through their videos or through messages on Facebook and whatnot and just some of the nicest people and there have been some a-holes too but very few the the nice people overshadow the the, the a-holes uh, just a lot more the majority are really really good friendly people and just awesome people uh, I don't want to single out any specific people because that's not fair to everyone uh, again, it's just there's just certain people that I converse with more. It's just it's just the way it is. It's just some people uh, that I, um, but definitely that's the most positive thing. Uh, also, you know, doing the videos, doing these videos has been sort of like an outlet for me, and has given me a little bit of more confidence uh, with certain areas of my life. So that's a positive thing. But definitely the most positive thing is the people that I've met and converse with over time uh, so again so thank you to everyone that come that's the last of the questions um, uh, you know I want to thank to everyone that's looking at this and that left comments and and questions here uh, also I want to make sure I mention uh, the first comment on this was uh, Anakin's angel just said congrats on so many milestones he didn't have an actual question but that's fine but I want to make sure I, I put that in there uh, but as here you see there's the screen and you know I don't know if you could see the names but just you know and there's the top of the page so I got to you know everyone I could think of I hopefully I answered your guys questions I tried to do the as best as I could in answering them uh, and ho I hope you guys love this video you know it'll be interesting to see what your thoughts on this are and here's to another 400 vids hopefully and many more years we'll see uh to my next vid so long and may the force be with you